Hey, what's up guys? We all know this problem in bigger tribes when we need to wait for people to teleport around. So if you want to know how to make the best teleporter system in all of work, stay tuned, watch the videos. We will make it as fast as my PC generates these FPS, which is insane. Look at this. What the fuck? Just a little information aside for everyone who has questions about art builds or anything like that. I made a Discord channel where you can join. It's like a little community. Also, like PC builds and other shit. Like there's a, a bunch of funny channels. Um, if you want to, just join. Um, you can contact me over there if there's like questions for buildings or if you have any problems with like the layouts or whatever. Just come over there. So you join and have fun with us. Okay, quickly to explain the problem and why I suggest a teleporter system. There's a few problems that you can run into, especially when being in a bigger Troy with the teleporters, or at least something that you can increase or like modify so it's like better for all the tribe members first thing is a lot of people name their stuff different and then always people ask like where's this tp what what's the tp name where do we need to go to for example in defense purposes or when you're a new player in a tribe right and you just joined and you need to go to farming tp you always need to ask what's the name of the tp for example right and then if we open the list this is not a lot of tps right this is just a few you're placed down so as an example right it's still a lot of TPs, right? And it's just like the, the most necessary ones that you would have on your big base if you own Hall of Center, right? And then there's a lot of names, everything like that. And I'll put in a video of our actual TPs, what they're named at the moment, as an example. Um, and to make it easier for everyone to find shit, I would make a system like that. Now, for example, like I said, you're a new person, you want to go to farming TP. All you need to know, and I'm using a double digit um, system, it's 7-7, seven, seven. so you tell the person, or you make an info channel where it says, okay, number 7-7 seven, seven is all the farming TPs. I press on 7-7 seven, seven and I have a list of every farming TP. Fucking easy, right? It sorts every, like it filters everything else out. This is just farming TPs. Or for example, you go into defense, right? And you were saying, okay, they're at the front of Spider Cave, right? So there could be a lot of names for the front of Spider Cave. Front death wall, front of spider, or outside defense, whatever, right? With this system, you type in 1-1, one, one, and as you see, this is all the TPs that I have in the front, which can be attacked, right? I type in 1-1, one, one, and for Spider, there's only one, uh, two, two TPs. Spider Death Front, Spider Death Wall Inside. You know Inside is probably Inside, the Front is the Front, so easy peasy, filter that out. Or we go to Ice Cave, I press over here, so North Pillar Tower, that's a tower outside, easy as fuck. Um, other example we want to go to crafting stations maybe your tribe has multiple crafting stations crafting stations together with quota is in 4-4 if you're an admin you have admin crafting station but i only have all the four crafting stations over here easy as that other thing which this um system solves is and that's why you see the two colors over here normally on official tribes or on bigger tribes you have in and out tps it's known off in you take in Turn off blue tech out, right? The thing is, if you over here now type in blue tech, right? Like you would do it on regular thing, right? Okay, we don't see it right now because we are sitting on this TP. Let's go over there real quick. Blue tech. You still see two TPs over here for the blue tech, right? Out and in. If you type that in, right? And then if you are hectical, you maybe press this button. But people that are wanting to teleport out, teleport you out with them. If you just type in the number for blue tech, which is in my case 99, you only, you don't see it now because I'm sending on it again, you only see this one though, right? Over here, there's only one TP, there's no OTP, so this is easy. And yeah, just an example. Um, whatever. But you know what I mean, right? So this is really easy. So now quickly to just explain the thing and I go to spider, right? For example, someone sa says to you go to spider crafting something, right? Even if I press in spider, right? Just a cave name. There's a lot of TPs in spider. I have 19 TPs over here. Normally you have even more on your tribe. Let's quickly go to the spider um, kitchen. Hmm. Um, as you see, I have green and red. Obviously, this is um, optical color-coded, so people who are teleporting in always come to these TPs. They use the numbers, and people who want to teleport out, they just go to the red TP, teleport out, so they don't step on these one when people are teleporting in, you know? Easy um, as that. And then... 
There could be other TPs that have a number in them, Forge 1, for example. And then over here I have Forge 2 probably, yeah, Forge 2. We have Forge of TPs. Or if you have a bigger com room with multiple TPs or blue tag room with multiple TPs and you name them with numbers, then they would sh show up in the list over here too. If I just have, for example, like 4, I want to go to Crafting Station, I press in 4, but as you see, I see the Forge Spider 4 and I see the Ready TP 4 as well. If we type in 4 4, this gets filtered out as well. You just see the crafting stations, and we're standing on one crafting station TP as well, so that should be the fourth one, right? Easy. So that fixes basically everything for your teleporter system, and it's like it's really easy. You don't even need to change any names. You can keep all the names for the people that are in your tribe, so you don't mix up anything in their heads. You just add the numbers at the back for everyone who wants to use it, and it's really, really easy because. You also you don't need to search for anything, right? I want to go to metal farming, easy. I want to go to when we teleport it in. Let's go to the kitchen, right? Kitchen is five five, easy. In lava, at least. <laughs> Example DP. Let's go to the other kitchen real quick. Hey, okay, didn't find myself in here. Other kitchen, easy. But if I press in, I don't know. AI? Okay, maybe KI is a little shitty because two two letters, but like there's other stuff, I don't know, let's type in CR for crafting, but CR for crafting would also lead you to crouch, right? Or to spider craft, okay, we want to go to crafting station, crystal metal has CR in it, um, crouch surface has that in it, is there anything else? Yeah, but you see the problem that I'm talking about, right? With this system... I want to go to admin crafting station, CR, oh no, I'm stupid, 4-4, four, four, ad, only 4 admin crafting station, easy as that. And then maybe I want to go to any of the artifacts, I type in 8-8, eight, eight. I have the list of artifacts, I know pack cave is down there, easy. Normally, obviously you have like a circle where you just like press the automatic, automatic travel button, but I think you also see what I mean. Like, I mean, there wouldn't be any other TPs around here, but like in Lava Cave, um, or Pill Cave, they're like pretty close to all the other TPs, so it's hard to filter them out. If you have only 8-8 on them, easy teleportation, and you're over here. Okay guys, I hope you liked it, I hope it can be useful for you too. I like it really much, and I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye bye.